Yeah, uh, Charlie and Kevin, I'm gonna give you a quick update of where I'm at. Got everything pretty much going in, in there. Um, we do have an instance set up for your company. It's uh, company number 443, and I'll send you login credentials outside of this video. Go to the site, click in the login, and you'll come up with your username and password page. Um, what we have done, <clears throat> admin, job setup, zip codes. <clears throat> We've got your zones loaded up. Um, here are your zones right here. I put one zone in there for a master, which is in there for the billing locations. You won't, they won't get in your way, but the rest of your zones are loaded up correctly. Your zip codes are all tied to a zone. That one is not, I'll tie it to master just to make it cleaner. Um, so everything has, has its own now, every zip code. Um, I did put your inventory in there that, that uh, Nathan sent me previous. There's 90 pieces. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, we can talk about that. Um, I did get the customers in. There are 42 customers. They're all active. If you go into one like Carnegie Homes, I'd like for you guys to double check these uh, this data. Uh, this is Carnegie Homes, and this is their bill-to information in Arlington, as opposed to, I guess, their offices in Dallas. The credit limit, uh, things of that went in, which is really irrelevant moving forward. Um, so phone numbers, just double check everything that you can right here in this customer list. We did have a couple of bumps in that, but that was, pro my, was my, predominantly my fault. Um, I did put a job in there. I also added an employee. These are the people that will get the jobs assigned to them. So I just put one called install one. And if you go into him, you can see that he works in all zones. So if you get to the point where you got some guys that work in some zones and not in others, we'll deal with that at, under that uh, under that umbrella. I did put a job in there. It's for service pros. Um, the uh, bill to is Carnegie. The location is service pros, 123 Main Street. McKinney, Bill to Carnegie, Arlington, and these are the materials that I put on that job. And I don't have a kit. We need to talk about kits, but I did have inventory, so I just put some inventory in there. Uh, I did put that job on the calendar. It's on for today, and there it is right there. You can click on it, get into detail, see the picture, see the communication, things of that nature. And that's where I'm at right now. I think it's time we had another meeting. Uh, we can do it tomorrow if y'all, if you guys are available. Um, I can show you how to put a job in. You know, it's pretty simple. You go to new job. I'll I'll go to advanced search and I'll select one of these uh, builders. And I went to multiple location, add location, X Y Z subdivision lot one hundred and fifty. Zip code uh, 75069, and that's all you need. Then click Add, Create Work Order. You've created a job for Chance Lee. Come in here, answer a couple of questions. I don't know if you're going to use this ad management, but that's something we can talk about. Blinds as a service. It's either an install or a measure. Submit and schedule, and you've got a job ready to go to the uh, installer. Get on the schedule. So I'll go ahead and put this guy on the schedule for tomorrow. And I only have one guy here, right here. Assign it. Now it's on his schedule for tomorrow. <clears throat> we go look at the calendar. You can see now we've got a job for today and one for tomorrow. Want to change that job to three o'clock, two hours long. Update it. Drives him down to three o'clock, two hours long. And that's where I'm at. Uh, let's regroup and uh, make sure we get y'all off on the right track here. Thanks.